Morning guys, uh, this is a little bit of an update. Um, but yeah, a bit of a nightmare the last few weeks relating to the internet. Um, movie Star let us down and Orange have promised, promised, promised today they will definitely come after not turning up multiple times already. Uh, so hopefully by the time this video has finished its uh, compression, it will already be available to upload rather than have to find some internet locally. So that's that's one of the things I will say recently we've had some serious internet issues. A little bit dark in here at the minute because if I open my blind, it's sunrise. It's um, just shy of nine o'clock here in Spain. Um, another good thing is the school bus, there's now a route for them. There wasn't one before, so we're, I've been driving backwards and forwards, which is sort of restricted um, sorting some other work and things out because April can't go to the schools, but the new place is a bit too far. Um, but the school bus literally started this week, so there's another positive thing going on there. Um, yeah, and another thing I've had this, well, last few days is uh, some cyber attacks on my website stuff. I inject, they've been injecting some PHP code. Uh, which is basically some malware issues. Um, <clears throat> the bizarre thing is, is it's it's only a recent thing because uh, the websites haven't changed for years. It's, but it's been a bit of a pain with no internet, having to go and find internet to go log into the server, find the malware, remove it. Um, I've deleted some of the um, scripts that are associated with how they're getting into the system. Um, because some of the scripts are out of date, which is how they found some ways to get lo upload stuff onto the server, then use it for malware. So that's been a bit of a pain to actually clean that up. Um, and some, somebody did ask me about my uh, old website when I used to have Tropical Pen Pals and a lot of that stuff's on CBUX Pat. It, there's about 9,000 articles on there. It hasn't, ha it hasn't been sorted out. A lot of the images are missing. Because um, that was originally on another server. Because um, I hired a server in the US, but that got hacked as well, and that had some serious problems a while ago. And quite simply, like I say with a lot of the Philippine stuff, it doesn't make any money. The only, the only reason it, it still exists is simply from an information point of view. Um, it hasn't been audited, it hasn't been um, looked at in a long time. Um, but it was hacked a while back in. I had to then take it from a backup on one of the servers to re-upload it onto a new server, which is why it's, it's moved to another website. I also got rid of the old host because I think the problem come from within their servers. Um, the new host ain't too bad. The email when there's problems, and they say, oh, like now, they emailed, they shut my websites down and said, oh, there's some, there's some PHP on your stuff causing issues. Um, but I still got access through the control panel to go through, find the the viruses, etc., um, malware, and remove it. And then it did it about 24 hours later. So then I had to go through again, do it again, and then I altered all the passwording systems through everything because um, I think they got in through some of the uh, scripting. But now I've removed the scripting, changed all the passwords and everything. It should be a, a bit more ironclad. Um, that's the one thing I will say about websites is they can be a bit of a pain in the backside if you get people trying to mess around with them. Um, especially if it's only for information. If, it's, if I'm making no money off some of this stuff, I can't be bothered. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. It, it, I can't be bothered to dedicate 12 hours fixing something. Um, for something that was for just information. Um, I used to, I'll be honest with you, but I've, I've got other things to do these days. I mean, even these YouTube videos, um, I struggle to fit them in on the stuff I've got going on. Like this morning, the guy's coming at half past 11, so I've got two hours. Um, so I'm doing some videos because I can then upload them. But at the same time, I've got some stuff to deal with on my investments, which I have to go through today um, because I need to do it daily. And then I've got some other videos to do with some clients of ours. Um, and then 
Monday, I actually got a job here locally just to uh, try something. Because um, quite simply, I'm trying to avoid going back to the UK. But because my investments are doing well, I don't want to take any money out of them. I'm growing them at the minute. Um, so I'm trying to source some local income just to cover the difference on some of the online income. Um, yeah, so I'm looking at something on Monday. Just going to go and try it, see how I get on. Um, nothing fantastic, nothing right home. I'm uh, about... Um, it just it's just something to fill the time at the same time it offers some new opportunities which I can't really discuss at the moment because obviously I'm going to go and work with somebody else um, but there's some opportunities in there at a later date which I'll cover when I get to them um, but beyond that things are settling in the new property um, is functional now the only thing is the internet's a problem but we sorted all the plumbing out, sorted the majority of the electrics. The, my office still needs some rewiring done, but I'm not doing it now. I'll do it when I need it, um, which will probably be when, I, when we eventually purchase this place. Um, but at the same time, it's functional, which is, which will do me for now. I've got, not, got other priorities right now to work on, sorting the electrics out, they're safe, they just, like for example here, I've got three rows of sockets that don't work and I've no idea when they last worked. Um, I get a feeling they ain't worked since the 90s, <laughs> if they ever worked at all, uh, just by the age of them. So the point is, I, I tried to source where they were connected, because you know, you should have your electrics and an easier way to find them. Um, but there's a complete bird's nest up there with everything's connected into it and I get the feeling they're not even connected to that I think these are looped through something else it's just a mess so when, it, when I do buy it the whole thing's getting rewired top to bottom and all done in a um, standardised way that's acceptable right across Europe beyond these properties that were built some time ago uh, but it's nice to have the extra space. Kids have got their own room, they've got their own space. They're happy. Um, also means they're, they're not like climbing into our bed. It like, um, I'm, so one of the things is Zoe sings a lot. So we'd be used to like, I'd, I'd sit and be doing something. I'd go to bed and Ubi's in my bed because he can't sleep um, in the shared bedroom because of the Zoe singing. That stopped, so trying to carry somebody to bed at um, one o'clock in the morning, whatever, when I go to bed, not an issue anymore. So that's what, that's another benefit for me. Uh, but once we get all the computer stuff live as well, uh, that'll, be, that'll be useful for everybody. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. We've been buying lots of plants as well. I mean, the let's see, look. the sun's a little bit further up now. But I, I've got some nice roses out here. I can't turn this round, but I bought some roses. I bought this. This is something that might be worth looking at if you're out in the Philippines or even here in Spain or whatever. This is, um, yeah, well, let's try my Latin. Uh, Palarignum citrodium. Um, it's a very citrus plant and it's anti mosquito. Um, that's that's worth buying some of those for obvious reasons you know if, you, if you're sitting around in an area might be worth scattering some of those around just to put the mosquitoes off coming in there not saying it's going to stop them it's, i mean it's not that um amazing but it will actually reduce them for sure um but yeah i've got that i've got my little roses which are growing well and some other yeah we've probably spent a lot a lot of money recently on plants um Predominantly because we've had so much time. <laughs> I've had so much time because with no internet. I've been restricted and working. I've been talking with Jay out in the Philippines quite a bit as well when I've got access to internet. Um, but ultimately, because we've had the, the internet issues, we've been doing all the gardening type stuff, going to the different shops and things, and just doing the home, home style stuff. The interesting thing was trying to get a sofa, because uh, I've still got no sofa now. Um, we brought the our um, sofa bed over from the other the other 
apartment, but I want to get rid of that. Um, I've had it a couple of years, but the point is I want to get a nice Chesterfield and put replace it with a Chesterfield and just have a three-seater Chesterfield sofa with a Chesterfield chair. Um, but the, the thing is, we went into one of the stores uh, a couple of weeks back and said, oh, well, when can we have it? And I was like, because I'm, I'm there, because I've got the van anyway, I'll just push it in there, I'll take it. Oh, I'll be three months, sir. <laughs> three months for furniture as well. And I'm like... Well, I'll wait, because I could probably get it from the UK quicker than I can get it from Spain five minutes down the road. Um, yeah, this, some of this stuff I do find a bit bizarre. But then again, MFI and some of the other stuff, and I think DHS is the same in the UK. A lot of the stuff, they want your money up front to pay factories in China or whatever, and then they wait till the containers fall before shipping it. So they wait um and basically until they've got enough orders but you're you're basically paying for them to be able to buy large amounts of stock um which uh, harvey's was another one harvey's went bust and then mammoth superstore they they were doing exactly the same the the problem is i know uh my dad had the same problem and some of our friends had the same problem when they were struggling for financial reasons uh, you're going in there three four months later and they still haven't brought your stuff um, there's because they've got no money to buy it because I don't know what happened with their business but their business model was obviously failing um, yeah so that's why I don't like doing that stuff I want to go in there and buy it I don't mind waiting a week or two because if somebody says a week or two then obviously you, you know they're okay, but when they go, oh, it's all right in three months. It's like, well, you may not be here in three months. I'll turn up and there'll be just <laughs> just a sign on the door saying i uh, gone into receivership or something. No, thank you. I'd rather just um, order it from somewhere else. And I think that's what happens to a lot of people. But, yeah, it, there is some good furniture places around, but a lot of it is Chinese and whatever. Um, I'm not a fan of it. Um, so it's, it's a bit like with the beds and stuff where they use this metal, thin metal rods instead of um, wooden slats. But even wooden slats, you'll find that they often they're about a third the size they should be and things like that. Everything's like penny pinching, you know. But it, the thing is, it gets to the point where it's not functional. But I know myself, single beds, um, some of, the, some of the guys I used to deal with got, got a factory that they manufacture divans, but they bought some of these cheap metal beds and they were only paying like three pounds from India or somewhere. Three pounds for a single bed. And obviously they're, they're knocking them out 12, 16 pounds and it's still cheap in the UK. But the point is, they're crap. They're la you're lucky they last a year because you see when people sleep on them, the metal rods are all bent in the shape of the person that sleeps. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... Got some furniture changes coming up at some point. Once I can find somewhere to get them from. But everything else is good. Happy with the place. The swimming pool's nice. Tennis court. Started taking newbies uh, to play tennis. Um, yeah. So, yeah. It's a ni nice location. As you can hear, I've got the window open. Absolutely quiet. Not sure what it's like in the holiday season, though. This is the one thing that people do forget when they move to these areas. It's the holiday season you've got to watch for. Because I know La Mata, several people actually leave La Mata during the holiday season um, purely because it's so busy. It's not it's not wild or anything. It's uh, it's just that there's so much bustle of people moving around, difficulties parking, etc. Um, but anyway, guys, that's the update for this week. I uh, hope everyone's having a great week. And thanks for watching.